I think we can all agree, cold approaching sucks. But there's actually some hacks that make it a lot easier. For instance, back in college I learned that at the big house parties there were a handful of spots that, despite my shyness, I could easily start talking to girls. The line for the bathroom was one of them. At some point during the night, almost every girl in the party is going to make a trip to the bathroom, usually alone or with only one or two friends. Plus, the bathroom's usually away from the loud music and commotion, making it much more natural to start a conversation. For some reason, it seems conversations just sparked effortlessly there. Another great place at a party is near the keg. In fact, at a lot of the parties I went to, I take over the job of pumping the keg and filling the cups. It was a great risk-free way to start a conversation with a girl. And then later in the night when I approached her again, it was no longer a cold approach since we had previously talked. You can even stack them on top of each other. An initial chat at the bathroom, some more flirting at the keg. Next time she sees you, she feels like she's known you forever, making it super easy to escalate quickly. Bars and clubs have their own little pockets, great little locations that make approaching easier. A few years back in New York, they banned smoking in bars and clubs. Now this opened up a gold mine of opportunity for meeting women. Why? Because there's now dozens of women standing outside the bar, usually alone, smoking. I don't even smoke, but I usually hang out out there because the conversation comes easily. And yup, later in the night, all the girls you chatted with outside have gone from cold approaches to warm approaches. Not to mention that bars are basically a real estate game. If you get there early and have a spot near the bar, women literally come to you. You can sit back and be certain that every few minutes a new girl is going to be standing a few feet away from you. Most of the time they'll start the conversation while they're waiting for their drink. But there's something that's even more an advantage than a good spot. There was once a, a famous advertising guy, Gary Halbert, and he used to ask his students, if you and I both owned a hamburger stand and we were in a contest to see who could sell the most hamburgers, what advantage would you most like to have on your side? The students' answers would vary. Some of them would say they'd want to have the best meat. Some of them would say they'd have the best buns. Others would say location. Some of them would say they'd want the lowest prices. Anyway, after the students all finished telling them what advantages they'd most like to have, he'd say, okay, I'll give you every single advantage you asked for. I myself, I only want one advantage. And if you'll give it to me, I'll be able to whip the pants off of all of you when it comes to selling burgers. What advantage do you want, they'd ask. The only advantage I want, he'd reply, is a starving crowd. Think about it. Well, if you gave me only one advantage when it came to meeting women, what would I want? A starving crowd. What I'm trying to teach you here is to be constantly on the lookout for groups of women who've demonstrated that they're starving, or at least hungry, for what you can offer. If we're looking to make approaching women as easy as possible, then wouldn't the easiest woman in a world to approach be the one who's actually looking to be approached? Even more specifically, a woman looking to be approached by a guy like you. Last month I got a call from my friend Jared. That night he had been on his first singles cruise around New York City and he absolutely loved it. There was no wondering if she had a boyfriend, no wondering if she was only out to catch up with her friends or if it was girls night out. You knew exactly why she was there which made approaching women extremely easy. That's just one example of putting yourself in front of a starving crowd. A few weeks back, I got an email from one of my coaching clients, Sebastian. At 30 years old, he'd finally lost his virginity to a woman he met in salsa class. Another example of putting yourself in front of a starving crowd. A woman who attends and pays for weekly salsa classes and isn't there with a boyfriend has just raised her hand and said, yes, I'm open to meet someone, and she's probably actively looking. Easy. The more you hate cold approaching, the more you need to find ways to make it easier on yourself. Now, even when you're in front of a starving crowd, even when you're in front of a group of women that are actively looking to be approached, you can still make it easier on yourself. How so? You can learn to spot the ones that are sending you the signals that they want you to approach them. Yes, whether you realize it or not, every day, every time you go out, there are women who are trying their damnedest to get your attention and get you to approach them. I've talked in depth about this with a lot of extremely hot girls. And girls will tell me that the most frustrating thing in the world for them is when they hear a guy say, Oh, you're a girl. You can get laid anytime you want. 
And the girl's like, sure, if I put a sign up that says I'm looking to go home with someone, but short of that, these women go out all the time. Sometimes they're just looking for some male affection. Sometimes it's that time of the month, and they're just freaking horny. And sometimes they've just been dumped, and they're looking for a revenge lay. Yes, they send all the signals, and guys just don't pick up what they're putting down. I think you'll agree that there's no easier girl in the world to approach than one who's actively trying to get your attention and hinting that she wants you to talk to her. So let's look at a few of the signs. The most obvious is that she makes her way over towards you and for no reason stands in your general area. Here's what I mean. If you're at a large uncrowded bar and you and your friend are talking in one corner and you notice two girls on the other side of the bar and then 20 minutes later for apparently no reason they're now on your side of the bar, there is a reason for that. Now, if she's with a group of friends, she might accidentally separate from her group and make her way towards you. There's a reason for that. Or, she might just keep finding excuses to walk past you. There's a reason for that. If she's already close to you, she might shift her body language to be more open to you, to show you that she's available to be approached. Or maybe you've had a girl accidentally bump into you. Did you take advantage of it, or did you let her apologize and keep walking? If you did, you missed an opportunity. One of the most obvious things a woman will do when she wants you to talk to her is she'll eavesdrop on your conversation. She'll noticeably laugh at one of your jokes she's overheard, or even throw in her own opinion to try to get your attention. Maybe she'll even drop something near you, hoping you'll pick it up. Now, women are not stupid, and they know you need an opener, so they'll try their damnedest to give you one. If she's reading a book or looking at something, she'll try to let you see what it is so you can ask her about it. If she's looking at something or someone, she'll talk out loud to herself so that you realize she wants you to comment on it too. She's handing you an opener on a silver platter. Now those are the obvious ones. Of course, there's some girls who are more subtle, and with those girls, you'll have to pay closer attention to the body language. If she catches you looking at her, she might push her hair out of the way so you can see her face a little better. Or maybe she'll adjust her clothes after looking at you. The the fact is, the signs are there. Whether it's a girl in your class, girls in the bar, girls at the park, girls in your yoga lessons, or just a girl you see at the hallway at work, you've been getting the signals. So let's recap real quick. In order to make approaching women as easy as possible, we said first, you need to put yourself in front of a starving crowd. This means you need to find the best possible location to meet women, and you need to spot the women that are actively looking to be approached, and particularly, the women who are sending you the signals that they want you to approach them. But there's one more missing ingredient to making this as easy as possible for you. I have a saying, it's not enough to be in the right place at the right time, you need to be the right man at the right time. What do I mean by this? Chances are more often than you care to admit, you saw a woman, and you just knew that if you went over and talked to her, she would have been totally into you. Yet you couldn't get yourself to act. Maybe you talked yourself out of it by finding some excuse like, she doesn't seem to want to be bothered, or you're just not feeling it, or she probably has a boyfriend waiting at home, or next time I see her, I'll talk to her. But you don't. Here's the thing, if you're like I was, then you just can't build up the courage and confidence to actually approach a girl you don't know. Or even worse, you can't bring yourself to go and talk to girls you do know. You spend all this time reading how-to advice on talking to women, but you can't force yourself to go out there and practice it. During a week when you're at home thinking about it, you get completely pumped to go out and talk to girls. But once you get out there, you quickly lose motivation and you just don't feel like doing it. Now, are you sick of telling yourself, next time I'll go talk to her? Every night when the bar closes, you realize you went another night without talking to girls, and you feel like shit and hate yourself. And the kicker is, you know there's nothing to be afraid of, you know that rejection doesn't matter, and you even know specific opening lines that are proven to work, yet you still don't have the guts to approach. In fact, you can't even mentally see it. The idea of walking up to a beautiful girl you don't know and starting a conversation with her is so far outside your reality that you can't even imagine or visualize yourself doing it. In other words, you've completely lost your mojo around women. And without this mojo, all the pickup lines, all the approach me signals, and all the starving crowds in the world won't help you meet women. If you're sick and tired of feeling frustrated and even a little confused about why you just can't get yourself to grow some balls and approach women, I've got another free video coming tomorrow 
that will address the idea of becoming the right guy in the right place at the right time. The video is called The Three Silent Killers of Your Mojo Around Women. And in this video, I'm going to expose what it is that's really preventing you from approaching women. Trust me, it's not what you think. I'll be sending you that video tomorrow via email. The subject line will say Three Silent Killers of Your Mojo Around Women. And you don't want to miss it. See you then.